Jimmy today, and um, it's October 8th, 2017, and, um, uh, you know, about a month ago Jim had surgery, so, um, the dolly guard has actually been kind of waiting for us to, uh, to get back to her, and, um, so the thing that we've been working on is uh, a gear shift, and, um, as you can see here, this is the guts of the gear shift. It's a, um, a Hearst T-handle, which was, a, well, I think it's probably still popular today, but um, the thing is, is it's, um, back in the 60s, it was uh, boss, I think is the word. So, um, one of the reasons, too, is that we haven't been filming is because we've needed all four hands to do some of the things we've been doing. Um, First, I'd like to um, call your attention here. Now, these are the um, backup light switch and also um, another switch. I can't remember, but... That was the uh, reverse, uh, um, reverse switch. <laughs> yeah. And uh, basically, it, it lights up um, when you back up and, and things like that so that people know you're backing up. And... Um, and then here is the, um, the basically, um, when you, the, this is what goes to the transmission. And um, so we've got it fastened here and in here. And um, these uh, nuts have been around 10 to 12 foot pounds, I think, is what they require. And, um, and then one thing that was kind of interesting was, um, they said, oh, well, there's a, a little a little wire, and I'm thinking, well, this is the cable. This is the only cable that came in, but here on our, um, on the plate that's inside the car that lights up, that's, um, we finally found a, um, the, That was the indicator cable. The it was indicator cable, tuck, which... Tucked nice and neat to the bottom of it. <laughs> Yeah, so. And so we're looking all around for the other cable, the missing cable. I know, we're like, where's the cable? We're going to have to call that company. No, and, you know, lo and behold, it was connected to the actual plate. And as you can see, we put blue tape here just so that it doesn't get dinged and stuff. It's, it's got chrome on it, and, um, you know, we're trying to keep it nice. Now, um, another thing is, is um, see these bolts here? These four bolts that are underneath, well, these attach to the floorboard in the car. And where it's attached to, it's a hump. And funny enough, this, um, I think it's the, the front right bolt. On the frame of the car, there's actually another, <laughs> like a dip of, um, of steel there um, that we had to go drill even farther through. And um, there's not a lot of room because the transmission is right there. So um, we're going to have just a little bit of room to get through all that ribbing. And then and then we'll have to like put that nut up. And so that's going to be a little bit hard. But Yeah, four yeah. hands again. <laughs> four hands. So we, we might not be able to show you that. Um, however, why don't we move on to the car inside. And I'll show you... Um, the holes. <laughs> now in here, it's kind of interesting. Um, we tore out the carpet because um, it was actually kind of hard to. Um, we can't drill holes through the carpet, and and the um, you know the, the matting in here, and um, so. Basically, um, we had to cut that out, and um, it's not going to show because there's a, a like a box that yeah the tower the, the tower. little council tower and it covers all the all the guts and stuff, and um, right here is where the um, the cable will go through, and I already have a plug to. Um, that, that the, the cable has gone through already, so that'll just sit nicely here. And then these holes right here and here and here and here, they are um, to fasten the, um, 
the gear shift lever onto it. Now the tricky thing about this is that um, they give you like a bunch of washers in case you need to make it level. So like these two holes, this one will probably take one washer, this will take two, and then like three and four uh, washers each just to um, make sure that the gear shift lever is even. And uh, so what we did is going over to the workbench. We yeah, my, my uh, dirty workbench. <laughs> tape around them because it'll be easier just to um, set them where we need to set them and then you know put the yeah we did a pre-fit on, on the floorboard so I said okay let's tape together uh, it's in order so we don't have to, uh, remember how they went so and then um, so here's a two a two um, three and then Four. And I gotta say something about this magnetic screw holder. <laughs> we got. I don't know where, where we. I don't know where we got that, but was that at Harbor Freight? <laughs> but uh, man, uh, this is one way not to lose anything. Uh, you just you get all those parts out of the bag and just bang, and they just stick. That thing is really magnetic. <laughs> to get that, uh, that uh, this gear shift lever in and then um, when the cable's attached to the transmission I think that we'll finally be at a place where we can put um, be done with the transmission anything hooked up to it so that'll be a big huge thing um, as you know folks we've we put in a new transmission a racing one 727 we also put a new um, drive shaft and then we also, um, I sanded down that, that um, axle housing, it's an eight and three quarter, and um, we put a 373 gearing in it that uh, we got from Bouquet Auto, which Owen, he really pulled through for us on that one. We got a great um, gear sh gears, um, they're from Auburn, which um, was the company that made the Duesenberg, so, um, which is just neat, I'm just, I'm just thrilled about that um so once we get that that gear shift lever in um we got lots to do still on the car um we're still looking for tires um racing slicks in the back but um anyway it's been a project and oh and by the way jim had a surgery to put two discs in his back and his lower back and um they put about an eight in incision on the front of his body to do this <laughs> and um, you know his back has been really good he feels really good about it um, very little pain once in a while and then yeah. but, I'll try <laughs> some, but his sciatica it's been a real pain <laughs> um, and, I, and you know what I mean folks a pain not just in that area, but also <laughs> pain down his knee, down to his foot, and so, um, so now that he's managing the pain, it's it's getting better. Um, but you know, my my Jimmy Bear is kind of kind of been sick, so. Um, but we've caught, catch, we've been catching up on uh, Star Trek with William Shatner, <laughs> <laughs> Leonard Nimoy, and caught up on lots of things so um, it's kind of nice that way but um hope you all are okay and um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting that together and then um then i'll tell you how it went afterwards so um, um and just to let you all know that jim is really doing well now he's starting to feel a lot better and <laughs> um, sometimes yeah <laughs> but i'm actually i'm walking better so that's that's um, that's a relief. We can um, be glad about that. So. All right, folks. Have a good night, and um, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.